Right, there is another confirmed case of measles in L.A. County, and Orange County has its first confirmed case. Kick on Rachel Kim is live at LAX right now, where there is a new warning for travelers tonight. Rachel? Yeah, Jeff, in both of the newest cases, the people who contracted measles are local residents who traveled internationally. As the number of cases continue to grow, health officials are urging everyone to get vaccinated to protect yourself and others. LA County just got its sixth case of measles this year. A local resident contracted the disease after traveling internationally. Travelers we spoke with tonight weren't surprised. I've been vaccinated, so I'm, I'm hoping I'm protected. I'm very careful about where I go. Health authorities are now warning others about the potential exposure locations. They say the person traveled through LAX's Tom Bradley International Terminal on April 23rd between 4 and 7.30 p.m., then rode on a Fox Auto Park shuttle between 4.30 and 7.30 p.m. Three days later, the person went to the Home Depot on 20th Street West in Lancaster between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. It's like you're sitting on a plane with someone. I want the person next to me to be vaccinated 100%. Orange County now has its first case of measles this year. Health officials say the placentia woman in her 20s who traveled internationally is under voluntary isolation at home right now. Health officials say people may have been exposed at the following places. 5 Hutton Center Drive in Santa Ana on April 23rd through 25th from 7.45 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. daily. St. Jude Emergency Department in Fullerton on April 27th from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And the AMC Movie Theater on Lemon Street in Fullerton on April 25th from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. We also got an update on the measles quarantine at UCLA and Cal State LA. UCLA officials told us the 28 people who are quarantined are expected to be released by midnight. At Cal State LA, 70 remain under quarantine, and that will end on Thursday, May 2nd. Today, the LA County Board of Supervisors approved a motion that supports state legislation that would strengthen immunization requirements and directs the Department of Public Health to report back on prevention efforts. I totally agree. I mean, I think we, we got to do that to protect all of us and um, especially kids that are vulnerable or people that can't um, get the vaccine. If you're going to be traveling abroad and are concerned about measles activity in the country you're going to, you can check out the CDC's website for travel notices. Reporting live tonight at LAX, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.